It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna to share with you what I've learned about the Canon EOS R5 since I purchased it April this year, April 2021. That's right, it's our six month anniversary. I'm gonna share the most significant benefits uh, that come from owning this camera, uh, coming from the Fuji X-T4, before that the EOS R, and the challenges or disadvantages of owning it. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. Very quick video today, just reflecting on first six months with the Canon EOS R5. There's about a half a dozen disadvantages I have identified and about 10 benefits or advantages that I can share after investing in this camera. I hope this is helpful to you and I hope that you find it in your heart to subscribe to the channel. Hey, I wore a blazer dressing up for you. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to build a community where we can learn from each other. I love to share with what I'm learning with you. Leave me a comment letting me know where in the world you're watching from or a comment about the camera you currently shoot with or let me know if you think I missed something because it's quite possible that I have. I always love helping out if I can help out so don't be shy if you have a camera question. Leave a comment or send me a message on Instagram at Wes Creasel Photo. All right, let's jump in with the advantages. Sharp, clear, beautiful photos. This camera kicks butt and takes names. It's one of the best mirrorless cameras out there. Let's see some samples. Another advantage, beautiful, rich C-log footage that I love to edit and color grade. It's a joy to color grade this footage. Now, uh, and now it has C-Log3 through a firmware update. Thanks, Canon. I used the R5 and the C-Log3 last weekend when I filmed for a mini documentary I was making for a nonprofit about their journey to visit a prison and to prepare a clemency petition. And I am loving the results so far. Another, another advantage, the RF lens system. I like EF lenses, but after switching to the EOS R, I will never shoot with the NAF lens unless that's all I have available. Another advantage, 4K 120 frames per second. Yes, it's a dream. And I know maybe Sony's had it for a while, but I don't own a Sony and that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Canon R5, 4K 120 frames per second. I love to watch the footage I shot with it when I was testing it out. I'll put a link to the whole video up here. Advantage, the speed of the CF Express card. I mean, this little card, uh, <laughs> it's 1700 megabytes per second read and write speeds. And it is unbelievable. It's noticeable and it's great. It's like using a solid, straight, solid state drive to load footage or RAW files. I love it. While we're there, advantage, two card slots. I honestly use this more for organization than backing up footage. I shoot video to the CF Express card and I shoot stills to the SD card. That way I never really have to think about my workflow or second guess where my images are. If you're my age, you might have difficulty seeing the tiny, tiny font in there where it says uh, a, slot A or slot B. Um, but now I just uh, know by feel which card is which and it makes it easier to grab the correct card. Advantage, toggling with the top button here, mode, uh, from photo to video. I just push the mode button and then push info and then I have my choice of my other mode, photo or video, depending on where I'm coming from. Having distinct photo and video mode screens and settings, it makes it easy to stay ready for each type of use of the camera, photo or video. It's the same as the EOS R, which I loved, and I love that way that it works. It still works, unlike the Canon R6, which doesn't offer this. Speaking of things the Canon R6 doesn't offer, custom video modes. I like saving my favorite settings so I can access them e easily with a push of a video mode button, like uh, specific frame rate settings or C-Log or not C-Log, so it's easy to switch to what I need at a moment's notice. Another advantage, the touchscreen ease. Yes, it's easy to use, it's almost too easy. It's so such a joy just to navigate and change your exposure settings or other settings on the back of the camera. Uh, now, I never thought I'd say this. The advantage of the joystick. I never really missed this on the EOS R, a feature it doesn't have, but shooting with the Fuji, first the X-T4, and now the X-E4 has gotten me into the habit of using the joystick. I love this little feature. Now this brings me to the sad part, the downsides, the disadvantages, the costs. 
and you're gonna have to count the cost. And in fact, the first few are about the cost. Number one, that beloved CF card, CF Express card, the cost. When I purchased the R5, I spent more than $200 for this little 120 gigabyte, gigabyte card. It's fast, but it'll cost you. Another disadvantage is the cost of the camera. Sometimes I wish I bought the R6. I'm not sure I need the 45 megapixels. I could have been happy with the R6 and an additional lens for the same amount of money, like the 100 millimeter macro. Speaking of disadvantage, the cost of the lens. Now this lens is one of the ones I love because it's $499. Uh, but the joy of owning a Fuji X mount camera is there's so many reasonably priced lenses you can purchase and including some I love, like the Viltrox 56 f1.4, uh, takes stunning portraits. Oh wait, there's a Canon video. Let me, let's not talk about those X-mount lenses. Um, I think I'm gonna need to invest in the, the RF50, the Nifty 50, um, the one that's like 199, not the one that's like three grand. Anyways, the lenses can be experienced. Another disadvantage, overheating issues. I haven't personally experienced this. I shoot mainly in 24p and 1080 or HD. I avoid filming in 4K to avo avoid potential overheating issues. Another disadvantage related to 4K is the file size and how slow my laptop goes when I'm editing 4K files. Another disadvantage, and it's buried in here, is the micro HDMI out. The EOS R has a mini HDMI out. I personally feel the smaller HDMI out is less stable and I would want something a little beefier. I would love a full HDMI out. Come on, Canon. All right, no camera is perfect and the best camera is the one in your hand or the one you have access to. That said, I'm quite happy with the Canon EOS R5. I'm not gonna be returning it or selling it. I hope your day is going well. I hope you found some benefit in this video. If so, give me a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. See you in the next video.